Ted Nugent, has once again shared his thoughts about the campaign to kick American podcast host Joe Rogan off Spotify, and mentioned another huge podcaster, Howard Stern, calling him a jackass. In January 2022, podcaster Joe Rogan allegedly shared misinformation about COVID-19 vaccines. Neil Young then delivered an ultimatum to Spotify to remove his music from its platform in protest of Rogan. This time, Ted Nugent showed off his respect for Joe Rogan and blasted Howard Stern during his recent speech on the nightly Nuge. At first, Ted said Rogan shared humankind statements. He also said Rogan cut a great niche for himself that goes far beyond people. Ted Nugent went on to blast Howard Stern. He said, well, again, I have great admiration and respect for Joe. He's uh, carved out a meaningful, positive force that's not good, not just good for his family and friends, but I think it's good for America. I think it's good for humankind because his podcast is the number one podcast on planet Earth. And what is a podcast but a celebration of a dialogue, a communication, a, uh, a respect and uh, not just a respect and an indulgence of alternative points of view, but the pursuit and celebration of alternative points of view. So he's really cut a niche for himself that goes far beyond anybody else I can really think of because I was on a Howard Stern's radio show going all the way back to the 70s and I've watched him turned into an isolated uh, jackass really, um, not really respecting alternative points of view and, and presuming and falsely accusing me, for example. So where I've had a good time with people like Howard Stern, who's a powerful force in the media, but he's no, he was never a journalist. He was never a, a truth seeker. And Joe Rogan has accomplished that with much aplomb, dare I say. But Joe Rogan was brave and courageous and unafraid to bring on other people's views and experiences and points of views, including world-class revered epidemiologists and virologists to bring in truth about certain medicines and certain emergency shots. So God bless Joe Rogan because he, it, be afraid of nothing. Get all the information you possibly can. And if you rely on your instinct, data, footage, documents, evidence, could go to the Nuremberg trial for some information, I suspect. Joe Rogan has been a, 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 a pioneer, a paradigm pusher, a paradigm destroyer. And I love that because the most important thing for knowledge to power, critical thinking. Joe Rogan is a great critical thinker. That's why the propaganda ministry can't stand him. Perfect. This is not the first time Nugent talked about Joe Rogan and his remark. Back in his February 11th The Nightly Nuge podcast, Nugent had sent blasting words for Neil Young. According to Ted, Young is a stoner bird brain punk. He explained, well, Neil Young, God bless. And I'm sure that there's many people that appreciate Neil Young's creativity and his talents and his, uh, his, his creation of wonderful music for those people who love that kind of music. I'm not a big fan. I happen to know that he's got a lot of soul. Uh, my dogs uh, don't like his music, but uh, they like something you can fetch a duck to like my music. But, you know, now that I've praised him for all the positives, the guy is a complete punk. If you've done that much mind altering chemical throughout your life, then you can probably claim in one moment that you should be rocking in the free world. But then in the next moment, witness all the evidence supporting everything that Joe Rogan's been saying that I've been saying the truth, logic, common sense, the indisputable evidence to support it and then claim that we're guilty of misinformation when actually the stoner burnt brain punk he delivers misinformation so this is a funny moment because he made a an, an ultimatum to spotify that whatever that big tech is and he said if you don't take my music off uh joe, joe rogan if you don't take joe rogan off spotify then you have to take my music off spotify that's a pretty easy decision neil thanks for making it so simple because neil young on spotify Adios, mofo. Now Joni Mitchell's doing the same thing. And again, God bless her. I can't stand folk music, but I know there are a lot of people that love that kind of stuff. And I salute them and thank them. And uh, and I appreciate any music that makes people happy and fortifies their American dream or whatever dream they might have. Is there another dream? I don't think so. The Mexican dream is to get the hell out and go to America. They're saying things that are just 
stupid. And again, with all due respect, I'm sure Joni, I've seen Joni Mitchell do interviews. She's a smart gal. And her musical dreams, she literally has perfected. Response to the controversy surrounding his podcast, Rogan promised to do my best in the future to balance things out. While Spotify said it would add content advisories to podcast episodes with information about COVID-19. In an almost 10 minute long Instagram video, Rogan said he would try harder to get people with differing opinions on his show, which averages 11 million listeners per episode. Thank you for tuning in and please hit that like button, it's appreciated. Make sure that you subscribe for more rock related content.